Hello you all, and welcome back to the second part of our video series. We have exciting news on the project, but also a new team member to introduce. Daniel is our new prototyping engineer, but for you guys to get to know him better, I want to take you where he normally lives, the workshop. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm currently studying Masters of Mechanical Engineering at Tiro Munich. Since I was a child, I wanted to know how machines work, so I broke open all devices and looked at the parts inside. After that, I learned profession as an industrial mechanic, and now I work at Makerspace, a giant workshop for prototyping. I joined the team because I wanted to improve the speed of programming and also refine all the small parts of the core principles of the machine. So, now that we got our newest team member introduced to you all, let's get to the news. We got a brand new gas chromatographic mass spectrometer system, which in tedious handwork, we got from a dysfunctioning system back to a fully operational system, which allows us to do in-house analysis of hydrocarbon samples. It's a really expensive, piece of equipment that allows you to chemically analyze the components of volatile mixtures and as fuels which we are producing are only volatile components we can analyze them in this gas chromatograph coupled with a mass spectrometer perfectly you hear gas chromatograph coupled with mass spectrometer <laughs> that's quite a bit to say this is why in chemistry, we just call it GCMS. So from now on, when I say GCMS, you know what I'm talking about, right? You can now see the workings of the system itself. Here you can see the needle dipping into the vial with the sample. It then gets transferred into an analysis machine itself, which separates the components and then analyzes the fragments by weight. Let's look where we are in the production of the pyrolysis system itself. We now finished the phase where we produced all of the single parts we need for assembly, which means that I can happily announce to you that we are now moving into the assembly part, which means a lot of welding, a lot of screwing and a lot of bolting. And then we are already there. The system should be finished after the assembly phase and can then be tested in a big lab and also the products we're producing can be tested. Once this phase is done, we can move on into the field testing, which will be done in the Philippines with ProOcean. So moving on now to one of the biggest developments we've had. Some might remember the company Galox Sealing Technologies actually sponsoring me all the way back in 2015 with knowledge and seals for my system. They thus have increase their support and are helping us with the application engineers to find the perfect sealing solutions which are engineered for our application and i was even able to meet till Föste, their company had in europe for a meeting and an interview which was incredible all the support galloc has showed us is even going further because they have invited us to go to their production facilities and visit the place where the sealing solutions that make our product, our system environmentally friendly and also safe for the user are produced, which is an incredible technology, I can tell you as a chemist, because they are using high-tech polymers and high-tech solutions to, for example, in our case, at high temperatures, seal something off against hydrocarbons and gases, which is not an easy task. So stay tuned for an incredible video where we will visit Garlock in Neuss and film in their production facilities. And also you will get to know all those incredible application engineers, which helped me all the way back in 2015, 16. Garlock themselves are a company which is leading in the field of seals. They produce seals for the petrochemical industry, nuclear industry, chemical industry in general. And none of us actually know them because it's not products that customers usually get into contact with. But once you know about them, 
you realize that without their technology and without their seals, our world wouldn't be what it is. Because most processes only work safely and reliable because of those seals. So for me as a chemist, this is incredible because it shows the ingenuity and research going into materials, making things work in a large scale. So now it's time for you, all of you, all in the community. I've always valued your opinions because this project was growing with you. Whenever I had problems, I just pitched it to you and I got great solutions back, which helped me improve my systems and overcome challenges. Now we have a new challenge. We want to rebrand and we want to pitch that to all of you, the community. There will be a prize for the person who finds a really good name for us. So write us in the comments your best shot for a brand name for our company. That's already it for today, but stay tuned for our next episode where we will look at the progress we made in building the system and also introduce one more team member. Till then, stay safe. Die Spieler rein.